Welcome back to CBS News. I'm Lana Zak. Former President Donald Trump is recovering from yesterday's assassination attempt. Now he is at his residence in Bedminster, New Jersey. He arrived in Newark at around midnight. Trump's deputy communications director shared this video taken as he deplaned with the caption, strong and resilient, he'll never stop fighting for America. And our own Errol Barnett joins me now from outside of the former president's golf uh, club there in Bedminster. So, Errol, we understand that Trump is there now. Anything that you can tell us about his itinerary for the day? Hey there, Lana. Well, let's keep in mind, Bedminster is one of his homes away from home during his presidency. This is where he would spend some of his weekends when you split that with Mar-a-Lago in Florida. And so I remember covering him at the time, coming to New Jersey, and it's clear that at this moment he's there with his inner circle and he's recovering. The messages, though, he's sharing on his Truth Social platform um, include comments like this. He said, quote, God alone. It was God alone who prevented the unthinkable from happening. He's asking his followers at this stage to show character in how they react to the emotion of the moment. And he says he's looking forward to the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, which starts tomorrow. He'll be heading there this evening. And he's also been uh, re-sharing messages from his wife and former First Lady Melania Trump as she speaks about how yesterday, for a moment, she felt as if her and her son Barron's life would be changed um, irreparably. And so we know that he's with his inner circle at the moment. One of his former assistants, uh, Andrew Giuliani, uh, came to the location where we are now a short time ago to say that this was a catastrophic failure on behalf of the Secret Service and that that needs to be investigated by Congress. But for those close to President Trump and Andrew Giuliani said that he had spoken with the former president this morning. It is a moment to let the shock sink in as uh, the former president heads into an incredibly consequential week for his campaign. Uh, and Errol, you mentioned that the former president trying to dial back perhaps some of some of the more incendiary uh, responses among his supporters. And you mentioned the former first lady, Melania Trump. Uh, she said, the fabric of our gentle nation is tattered, but our courage and common sense must ascend and bring us back together as one. Anything more you can tell us, Errol, about the plans for the former president when we expect now for him to travel to the RNC, uh, that obviously starting, as you mentioned, on Monday. Yes, and we want to be mindful, of course, of the security of the moment. So I can share that CBS News understands that at some point this afternoon, the former president will depart his Bedminster golf course and head en route to a regional airport before heading to Milwaukee. But it's possible he could cross this location because during uh, his presidency, this was typically a place where he would uh, visibly show support to Trump supporters who have been here on this street corner this morning and they all have connected the rhetoric to the outcome of this assassination attempt. So perhaps, and uh, Andrew Giuliani alluded to this, perhaps this is a moment where America understands the connection between the rhetoric and violence that can take place in real time. It's possible the president may pass our location. We'll bring it to you live if that happens. Uh, but certainly the shock still settling in among not just Donald Trump and his inner circle, but supporters here in New Jersey. Yeah, we hear some of them, I think, uh, honking their horns there. Errol Barnett, thank you.